we are destroying the habitats where species live. And in particular, on land, we are destroying tropical forests. And about two thirds of all uh, land species live within tropical forests. It used to be uh, quite hard to, to show that, but these days people can go to Google Earth and they mm-hmm. can look at where forests are um, and use the historical imagery and, and look at where forests were 10, 20 years ago. And it's very clear that we are shrinking our forests, particularly in the tropics, but also um, in, in other places too, um, mm-hmm. by a, a, a striking amount. We are destroying the habitats where species live. We've also been very careful. We've also been very careless in, in moving invasive species around the world. People have said, oh, yes, wouldn't it be nice if um, on my farm in Australia I could have some rabbits from the English countryside? You know, so people bring in rabbits or they, or, or rats escape from ships or people put goats out onto islands or, uh, for meat or people want familiar plants in their gardens. But those kind of alien species, species that are living in places where they do not belong are now also a major cause of, of species extinction. There's okay. over, over, over harvesting, over hunting. So the reason why, you know, elephants and rhinos and lions, tigers are in trouble is that people kill them. Um, Sometimes they kill them because those animals are threatening their their lives or their livestock. Uh, But often they're being killed because they've been poached, uh, tiger bone or lion bone or elephant ivory or rhino horn. So we're also very careless in terms of, of, of killing species for our own personal gain. And, and then finally, mm. there is, you know, there is, there is global warming. And, and global yeah. warming yeah. is, um, even if we did not have a um, temperature record, I mean, we have extraordinarily good data from across most of the planet that, that shows how the um, um, how the, 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 the earth is, is is warming. Even if we didn't have that, one of the things that would be would be very very obvious is the fact that species are moving um, either towards the pole, meaning they are living um, a lot further north um, than than what they have done in the past. Or else they're living at much higher elevations. And the work that, that I've done uh, with, 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 my, uh, with my colleagues shows very, very clearly that, that, that species are now higher in, in tropical mountains than they were uh, when, when colleagues surveyed those mountains, um, uh, you know, 40 years ago. So, so, so we know that species are on the move because of, because of global warming. Now, what does that do? Well, the problem is that what that does is to, um, for example, if you move species to higher elevations, uh, mountains are mountain shaped. There's less land on the top of a mountain than on the bottom. Um, so when you yeah. do that, you, uh, you restrict the range and it might get so hot that the species go higher and higher until they run out of mountain. So there's a lot of people who are worried that global warming is going to is going to wipe out species because to, to remain within comfortable temperatures, those species have less and less habitat. Mm.